Hey Scorpio, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your reading for October 8th through the 14th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, so we have temperance at the bottom of the deck. Um, and you know, it's interesting. I was just thinking to myself, I feel like normally by this time of the year, I'm thinking about next year or like the goals that I have. For some reason, it feels like this year has just gone by so fast that I'm still catching up, right, for months prior. Like I'm not thinking about next year as much as I normally would. So I wonder if, you know, um, the Scorpio Collective can relate to that. It's almost like we're forced to be a little bit more in the present moment because of how fast time seems to move. Um, and maybe right now you're feeling some sort of pressure uh, because maybe you have certain things that you want to get done before the end of the year is over. And as time flies, you're like, man, I'm running out of time, right? So maybe temperance is representing the fact that we have this drive, we have this motivation to really get things done, but then it feels like things that are outside of our control um, seem to make that quite challenging. For us, um, we do have the King of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, and Seven of Pentacles. So it feels like this week in particular is really good for kind of speeding things up or seeing some sort of progress within that same, um, you know, kind of desire to get things done. Seven of Pentacles could be that pesky little you know, energy of like, man, I wish I would have done this differently or I wish I wouldn't have wasted so much time on that, right? I feel like universe is saying, let's not do that. And instead, let's focus on what we can do right now in this present moment to change the rest of the circumstances, right? What can we do now to influence the outcome? Let's not focus on what has already been done because we're going to waste time doing that. We, we don't get anything from that, right? So Seven of Pentacles is about mind shift, mindset shift right perspective kind of changing that so that we're giving ourselves a little bit more of constructive feedback constructive criticism so that we know what to do from this point on kind of more focusing again on the, the present moment but then also how that's going to impact the future wheel of fortune there are things happening this week that could really be helping you feel more secure about getting these things done or making you feel more comfortable with the pace that you're going right it's almost like everything is lining up or the pieces are falling into place and so you're feeling a little bit more confident of feeling a little bit more in control about this timeline that you are working on king of pentacles there's a sense of you know, right now is a good time to really focus on the foundation, right? The financial investments. What are we doing um, with our resources? How do we need to change things in order to make our resources more effective, right? Are we budgeting? Are we making investments? Are we changing strategies? Are we implementing, you know, something that could potentially save us money? Like, what are we doing when it comes to our resources and how does that relate to us making changes right now for the better so you could be getting things done really handling business this week but with an emphasis on feeling positive about how the future is looking not feeling negative or saying i should have done this differently so i feel like you know time has served you if anything scorpio to really work on kind of changing the narrative the moment that you get stressed because maybe in the past you'd get stressed about being you know you know kind of rushed or not having enough time and then you'd kind of go down this rabbit hole of you know just all kinds of negative stuff so it feels like you're you know you on your own kind of have been working very hard to change that perspective and so things are definitely um you know getting better of uh, just more more efficiency that way right we, we can't waste too much time thinking about what we could have done in the past when right now what we have is the present moment all right, so let's go ahead and clarify that Wheel of Fortune. All right, Five of Pentacles again. So it feels like we're really kind of seeing that change or that transformation from thinking that we've lost something to realizing, okay, but what have we gained or what can we still gain? What can we, um, you know, change about this situation? So I feel like Five of Pentacles um, is kind of like you going from that feeling of i'm a disappointment or i'm a failure i'm i'm i've lost this or i've lost that i've made that mistake right we're going from all of that to i'm gonna learn from my mistakes and this week i'm focusing on what i can do now to improve 
um, you know, this, the circumstances. I honestly feel like for a lot of you, this could have to do with money. This could have to do with maybe investments that didn't go right and you maybe beating yourself up from them and then realizing I'm wasting my time, right? Maybe you even had some sort of conversation with somebody and you were explaining everything that you have done and they were like, yeah, but you still have this. And it's like, it's almost like this person from the outside in was able to give you alternatives and solutions that you couldn't see for yourself because you were too busy being hard on yourself and criticizing yourself. So it feels like there's a big lesson here on kind of being a little bit more gentle towards, you know, ourselves in order to not stop us completely from still getting things done when there is still plenty of opportunities to do so. So we have four of pentacles, the lovers, and the two of swords to further clarify that wheel of fortune, which I love because I really think that this two of swords is that barrier that we put in front of ourselves for no reason when we feel like we haven't done enough. And I feel like the thing about Scorpios is that we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to be at the very top, right? Our expectations for certain things are always going to be so high. And when we don't meet our own expectations, we can be really mean to ourselves. We can be really harsh. We can talk ourselves down to the ground and then we get nothing done because we've kind of um, gotten into this little hole of like, you know, sadness and darkness. And so I feel like right now you're kind of realizing that or maybe just like, you know, subconsciously. This is maybe something you've already worked on, but every now and then you kind of get a little bit of that, you know, feeling and so this two of swords is you recognizing that and saying i'm going to take these swords out of my face and instead i'm going to use them to keep fighting and keep building and keep doing whatever i need to do um the lovers could represent that there may be somebody in your life at this time that is kind of helping you through this maybe just with compassion or empathy just listening to you it could be a partner a friend family member right somebody that's just there for you kind of feeding you love and and making you realize okay maybe maybe i should go easier on myself sometimes we learn to love ourselves from others loving us right and uh, whether we recognize that or not in the moment once we do kind of process that it can really be such a beautiful thing because um that person loving us making us love ourselves then allows us to love others right and so it, it's kind of like this positive feedback loop of appreciation and compassion Four of Pentacles, um, I feel like there maybe is some sort of solution when it comes to the situation that has to do with money or like maybe your career or your job, right? Maybe there's something that you um, didn't realize was at your disposal. Now you're kind of realizing that using it and kind of feeling more secure, more comfortable and more uh, confident about this situation. So again, a lot of improvements coming through from this Wheel of Fortune for sure. So let's go ahead and clarify the King of Pentacles. All right, so we have Knight of Cups, which I feel like is you. And I really think that you are kind of going um, in a very, you're, I feel like your pace is perfect, but you maybe don't think so because you had this one idea, right? And so I feel like maybe this is um, about not necessarily lowering, lowering your standards this week, but just redefining them. Just so that it's easier for you to keep doing what you're doing without having that constant pressure about this needing to be that way or this way. Um, we have the Eight of Cups, the Emperor, Three of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. So really interesting. I think that the Three of Wands and the Emperor is about that expansion, right? Whatever you're doing has everything um, to do with you kind of improving some sort of aspect of your life, whether it's your work life, your home life, your you know romantic life. Something is expanding. Something is growing. You're, you're feeling in control because you're doing certain things to improve it. Um, the Eight of Cups and Eight of Swords could be about the fact that you may be simultaneously dealing with another situation completely where you're walking away, you're creating boundaries, you're also letting go of certain beliefs. And as these two situations kind of merge together, you're almost like finding yourself again. And this is, I think, the most amazing thing about being a Scorpio is sometimes when we go through very difficult and tough situations, we learn and and get to know ourselves just a little bit better. And so with each trial and error or with each, you know, trial and tribulation, it's like we become a little bit more ourselves. Um, and so I feel like that's exactly what's happening. It's like you're walking away from something, you're creating some sort of boundary, you're letting go of something, really letting it go. Um, not just saying you are, but like actually doing it, but then also kind of trying to grow and go in a different direction 
um, and expand your life, you know, completely. And so in the middle there, you're kind of like finding yourself and it could be hard to not want things to go a certain way. But just think about that for a second. Think about all that you're doing, everything that you've done and how much more you have yet to accomplish and all the time that you actually do have to, to make it happen. So Scorpio, I feel like this is a beautiful lesson in really giving yourself uh, more credit. So I really hope that this resonated. And if you liked it, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.